Well, we all know HBO makes terrible shows, and that's a complete lie. And this, <laughs> we're gonna talk about a bunch of the shows that are coming out on HBO in 2017. What's up, guys? I'm Kojak, and this is Tech, and HBO shows are awesome. Yeah. In case you haven't figured that out yet, have you seen Westworld or anything else that they've put out? Goodness. But they have a bunch coming out in 2017. We're gonna start off with The Young Pope, which is an Italian, Spanish, French drama television series. Yeah. So HBO is gonna be acquiring it. This is yeah. already premiered in other countries. Right. But. So Jude Law is starring as Pope Pius the 13th, and it's about a newly elected pope and a former Archbishop of New York, and it's the first American pope, which obviously hasn't existed yet. So yep. it's gonna be a fictitious thing. Yeah. And uh, Diane Keaton's also going to be in this movie as Sister Mary, who's an American nun who actually raised Jude Law's character in an orphanage and has basically helped him throughout his career. And she ends up being his personal secretary while he is Pope. So this is really interesting to yeah. kind of take a spin on things. What would happen if there was an American Pope? I feel like, like, would he be a good Pope? I don't know how we... I don't know. know. I think he'd just forget about it. No, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. <laughs> Up next we have The Deuce, which is coming from two guys, the producer and writer of The Wire, which obviously was a huge show. <laughs> it was one of those things, it was one of those shows where it was like, you haven't seen that, you didn't like yeah. that, and people would get into fights <laughs> over it, so clearly something's going right. And it stars uh, James Franco and Maggie Gyllenhaal in a really interesting which story. <laughs> He's taking some interesting roles lately, yeah. Mr. Franco. James Franco's kind of <laughs> killing it. This story is weird too. It takes place in the 70s during the rise of the porn industry uh, and that whole uh, legalization of the porn industry that was going on. So you have like violence, you have drugs, you have just all kinds of craziness Dealing going. With HIV and yeah. all the crazy stuff that happened. Exactly. So it's, it's yeah. bound to be an interesting story. I'm a huge fan of Maggie Gyllenhaal. I think yeah. she's a fantastic actress as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see where this thing goes. Yeah. And what's nice is it's HBO, so they can actually they like, can go into it. Yeah. If it's about the porn industry yeah. and drugs, that was an unintentional joke. That was kind of dirty. <laughs> now that I realize it. <laughs> HBO can go into it all night long. So next up we have Big Little Lies, which is directed by Jean-Marc Vallée. Is that how you say that? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Who is the director of Wild and Dallas Buyers Club, yeah. which are fantastic movies and kind of like overly emotional movies yeah. in a lot of senses. This is probably bound to be intense just yeah. in that. And this is actually based on a book as well by Leanne Moriarty. Yeah, Moriarty. Moriarty. I, I think you're supposed to pronounce <laughs> it that way. It basically tells the story of three mothers of first graders who apparently have perfect lives and their lives unravel to the point of murder. Yeah. It's really hard to tell, but there is a trailer. It's hard to tell based on the trailer what is going on. Right. And if you haven't read the book, you're like, what is going on? So uh, we haven't read the book, we so we're we like, what is going on? We did look into it to do a little research on the basic plot of what it is, but yeah. we didn't want to give too, too much away because it's, it does it kind of like, intertwine yeah. all these different things. But the, I, the crazy the, thing is this cast. You ready for this? We got Nicole Kidman. Reese Witherspoon, Shailene Woodley, Alexander Skarsgård, James Tupper, Laura Dern, Adam Scott, and Zoe Kravitz. This cast is nuts. This is like the list of the animated movies. Yeah. <laughs> now this is this is gonna be a limited miniseries. It's not, uh, from from what I can tell, it's just gonna basically tell the story of right. the book. I'm not sure exactly. Well, by the cast, it looks like that's all they can afford. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have American Lion, which is actually co-created by Facebook's head of market development <laughs> and the creators of Narcos, which is- What is going on with that? Which is really strange. Yeah, um, and it's the story of Andrew Jackson, which is our seventh president. Mm -hmm. So, which is, it's weird. It's like, Facebook, what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't let's, know. Let's, let's tell the story of Andrew Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest thing is this is actually based on a Pulitzer Prize winning book uh, made by a historian about Andrew Jackson and, yeah. and him being in the White House and being the president. So, hopefully it's going to be accurate. That's, yeah. that's, that's the hope. That's going to be... I, 
I hope I mean, so. Like if it's if it's based off of that, it, it they better follow it because I hope so. Because when a, a lot that of times would be when what they would do, make it interesting. yeah, a lot of times when yeah. they do biopics, it know? ends up becoming Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter. Exactly. <laughs> no, like no, that really happened. Yeah. That really happened. He 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 hunted vampires. I want to know how many people truly believe that. Me. But guess who's playing Andrew Jackson? I can guess because it's right in front of me. Sean Penn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sean Penn's gonna be Andrew Jackson. He, yeah, and obviously he's a fantastic actor, and this yeah. is this is gonna be great. Up next we have Crashing, which will be the first release of 2017 because it's coming out on January 1st. Yes. So there's no competition with that one. No. It's created by <laughs> Pete Holmes, who is a stand-up comic, and it's basically following a stand-up comic who discovers that his wife is uh, obviously unfaithful. Mm, of course. He's unlucky like every other stand-up comic is in relationships. <laughs> And so he's trying to reevaluate his life uh, in the whole New York City right. comic scene. Um, so uh, Pete Holmes is a stand-up comic, as you yeah. said. He also had a, a talk show. I think he still has the talk show, but I could be wrong. I think it still exists. I think so. Uh, Lauren Lapkus, yeah. Artie Lang, and TJ Miller, Miller are both going to be in this. When's the last time we saw Artie Lang? We haven't seen Artie Lang in forever. It's been a long time. TJ Miller, on the other hand, yeah. is now officially in everything. <laughs> he is in everything now. He's like the Morgan Freeman of comedy. Now I just want to hear everything. like Morgan Freeman do Louis C.K.'s stand-up. That would be great. <laughs> I don't think it would work, but it would be great. Just to listen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he ends up, he ends everything by saying, I'm Morgan Freeman. But this could be a really interesting show, just like showing the ups and downs of the stand-up comedy yeah. scene. Uh, I wonder if it's been done similarly before. But I, I like, don't know. This is gonna I don't be know if it's been done similarly because we don't know. We don't HBO know how doing this, and we don't know how it's going to play out. You know, you yeah. have something like Louis that's completely irreverent and right. ob obviously like uh, satirical while while being honest. Yeah. You know? This might just be straight honest, where you get like the real deal, this is what it's like. Up next we have a show called Barry, which actually is co-written and directed by Bill Hader. Who is doing everything He's doing now. all kinds of stuff, and I love <laughs> Bill Hader so much. Basically, Barry is an ex-Marine who works as a low-rent hitman in the Midwest. So he's like lonely and dissatisfied with his life. So he ends up traveling to Los Angeles to kill someone and ends up finding a group <laughs> he ends up finding a group of people in LA who are like hopefuls in the theater scene. <laughs> Which is a really weird plot, but I love it. That's Bill Hader. Yeah. I, I don't expect anything less. I don't know. I don't know if he just becomes. I don't know if he becomes like friends with them, or if he becomes part of like the theater company, or, or he kills them. No, I don't <laughs> think he's gonna kill them. <laughs> It'd be really interesting though if he ends up. Uh, I think that he's going to based on the cast right. and what the, what's explained in the cast. So we have Henry Winkler as an inspiring acting teacher. Stephen Root as a man who arranges Barry's hits. Sarah Goldberg as an aspiring actress who is Barry's entry into LA's theater scene. And then Anthony. Kerrigan and Glenn Fleschler as Chechen gangsters. So, so there's an interesting plot lying in there somewhere. No question. <laughs> and the Fonz is in this movie. I just love that it goes from like... When's the last time he's been in anything? Uh, I don't remember. I do like the fact that it goes from like someone in the LA theater scene to Chechen gangsters. <laughs> So next up we have Room 104, which is created by the brothers Jay and Mark Duplass. Uh, Jay was an actor on Transparent and Mark was an actor on The League. And they also uh, created Togetherness as well, which is another HBO show. They created Togetherness <laughs> together. <laughs> this is a really cool thing. This one's totally set in a single room. Of, American, of an American hotel, room 104. Yeah. And then it tells a different story every single episode. I like things like this. Yeah. There, um, what was that Black, Kevin Spacey? Black Mirror Black happening. Black Mirror. Um, Kevin Spacey was in a movie that like the whole thing right, that was, was like shot like that as well. Swimming with sharks, yeah. Um, I, that's actually like, I know everyone hated Phone Booth, but what I liked about Phone Booth was just his confined space. Mm -hmm. You know, that was about the only thing I enjoyed about it. it was, it, but also the, I mean, all, <laughs> one of the cool things too is that now that they're doing shows that have individual stories for each show, it yeah. makes it so you can just sit down, kind of binge watch it, mm -hmm. watch it at your leisure, and you don't have to be like 
one of those people who's like <laughs> waiting for the next episode to come out or yeah. like, you know, dealing with life as best as you possibly can. So Jay and Mark actually said something pretty cool, which is basically, we've all seen stories set in seedy motels and high class international resorts, but for years we've been fascinated by the funny, weird, sad, scary, absurd things going down in that corporate chain hotel near the airport. That's what room 104 is after, finding some magic in the seemingly mundane. This is gonna be a cool show. Nothing like a seedy airport motel. Exactly. <laughs> Hopefully the entire show is not in blacklight. Oh. Next up we have a show called Sharp Objects. And ironically enough, the creator is the producer of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Where and they sharp... got their sharp objects from. Exactly. That's how you <laughs> kill them. So that was kind of... That was kind of weird to see. Also, it's kind of weird to see the producer of that show be making something. Right, right. So Amy Adams is playing a reporter who's Camille Preaker, who is right out of a psych hospital. So that's a, that's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> and then she must return to her tiny hometown to uncover the murders of two preteen girls, which is the depressing part now. Right. Ah. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's it's a little weird. To have, uh, you know, someone who, we don't know why she was in the psych, uh, the psych hospital. I have no I, idea. I wonder if it's because of something that she had to report on or, what it, or whatever it may be. But she, the fact, yeah, it's like something sent something she was on sent her to the hospital, and then now she's going right back to right back else into is it. Gonna go to send her to the psych. Yeah, so she's probably just something. gonna be like battling her demons while she's trying to figure out the murders. Because it's Buffy and Angel, not battling those <laughs> kinds of demons. <laughs> Actually, that would be a nice cameo. Amy Adams is kind of killing it these days, so it's gonna be exciting to see her in this. And she definitely has been showing her acting chops, so she can be a little crazy. She can do it. I think she can pull it off. I think so. Well, that's it for our list of HBO shows that are coming out in 2017. We'd love to hear what you think. Put it down in the comments below if we missed something or if there's something that you're way more excited to see than we found. If you want to check out another one of the videos that we have done on screen time here, you can click right there to see it. Also, we have a channel called Boss Level 8 where we make fun of movie critics. And speaking of Amy Adams, we did one on The Arrival. I think it's called Arrival and not The Arrival, but whatever. <laughs> we'll Those make you laugh if you movies. click right there. So <laughs> be sure to do that. Hit the subscribe button, the like button if you like this video, and we will see you in the next one. It looks like that's all they can afford. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have American Lion, which is actually co-created by Facebook's head of market development <laughs> and the creators of Narcos, which is... What is going on with that? Which is really strange. Yeah, um, and it's the story of Andrew Jackson, which is our seventh president. Mm -hmm. So, which is, it's weird. It's like, Facebook, what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know. Let's tell the story of Andrew Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest thing is this is actually based on a Pulitzer Prize winning book uh, made by a historian about Andrew Jackson and, yeah. and him being in the White House and being the president. So, hopefully it's going to be accurate. That's, yeah. That's, that's the hope. That's going to be, I, I hope I mean, so. like, if it's, if it's based off of that, it, it, they better follow it because I hope so. Because when a, a lot that of times would be when what they would do, make it interesting. yeah, a lot of times when yeah. they do biopics, it know, ends up becoming Abraham Lincoln Van uh, and that whole uh, legalization of the porn industry that was going on. So you have like violence, you have drugs, you have just all kinds of craziness Dealing going. With HIV and yeah. all the crazy stuff that happened. Exactly. So it's, it's yeah. bound to be an interesting story. I'm a huge fan of Maggie Gyllenhaal. I think yeah, she's a fantastic actress as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see where this thing goes. Yeah. And what's nice is it's HBO, so they can actually they like, can go into it. Yeah, if it's about the porn industry yeah, and drugs, that was an unintentional joke. That was kind of dirty. <laughs> now that I realize it. <laughs> HBO can go into it all night long. So next up we have Big Little Lies, which is directed by Jean-Marc Vallée. Is that how you say that? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Who is the director of Wild and Dallas Buyers Club, yeah. which are fantastic movies and kind of like overly emotional movies yeah. in a lot of senses. This is probably bound to be intense just yeah. in that. And this is actually based on a book as well by Leanne Moriarty. Yeah, Moriarty. I, Moriarty. I, I think Harry, who's an American nun who actually raised Jude Law's character in an orphanage and has basically helped him throughout his career. And she ends up being his personal secretary while he is Pope. So this is really interesting to yeah. kind of take a spin on things. What would happen if there was an American Pope? I feel like, like, would he be a good Pope? I don't know how we... I don't know. know. I think he'd just forget about it. 
No, that was terrible. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. <laughs> Up next, we have The Deuce, which is coming from two guys, the producer and writer of The Wire, which obviously was a huge show. <laughs> it was one of those things, it was one of those shows where it was like, you haven't seen that, you didn't like yeah. that, and people would get into fights <laughs> over it, so clearly something's going right. And it stars uh, James Franco and Maggie Gyllenhaal in a really interesting which story. He's taking some interesting roles lately, yeah. Mr. Franco. James Franco's kind of <laughs> killing it. This story is weird, too. It takes place in the 70s during the rise of the porn industry. Uh, well, we all know HBO makes terrible shows, and that's a complete lie. And this, <laughs> we're going to talk about a bunch of the shows that are coming out on HBO in 2017. What's up, guys? I'm Kojak, and this is Tech, and HBO shows are awesome. Yeah. In case you haven't figured that out yet, have you seen Westworld or anything else that they've put out? Goodness. But they have a bunch coming out in 2017. We're going to start off with The Young Pope, which is an Italian, Spanish, French drama television series. Yeah. So HBO is going to be acquiring it. This is yeah. already premiered in other countries. Right. But... So Jude Law is starring as Pope Pius the Thirteenth, and it's about a newly elected pope and a former Archbishop of New York, and it's the first American pope, which obviously hasn't existed yet, so yep. it's going to be a fictitious thing. Yeah. And uh, Diane Keaton's also going to be in this movie as Sister Mary. You're supposed to pronounce it that way. <laughs> it basically tells the story of three mothers of first graders who apparently have perfect lives and their lives unravel to the point of murder. Yeah. It's really hard to tell. But there is a trailer. It's hard to tell based on the trailer what is going on. Right. And if you haven't read the book, you're like, what is going on? So uh, we haven't read the book, we so we are like, what is going on? We did look into it to do a little research on the basic plot of what it is, but yeah. we didn't want to give too, too much away because it's, it does it kind of like, intertwine yeah. all these different things. But the, I, the crazy the, thing is this cast. You ready for this? We got Nicole Kidman, Reese Witherspoon, Shailene Woodley, Alexander Skarsgård, James Tupper, Laura Dern, Adam Scott, and Zoe Kravitz. This cast is nuts. This is like the list of the animated movies. Yeah. <laughs> now this is this is gonna be a limited miniseries. It's not uh, from from what I can tell. It's just gonna basically tell the story of right. the book. I'm not sure exactly. Well, by the cast. 